Um, one other thing uh, I would like to ask you, uh, if you will allow me, is um, you know that there are different prophets and messengers that were sent as teachers for mankind. Yeah, I mean, uh, we know the name Adam, uh, Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, Lot, King David, King Solomon, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad. All these names are mentioned in our Quran, the book that we read, the book that we follow. Did you know this? Um, yes, uh, I know Jesus, uh, Ibrahim, Moises, but those those are but supposed to be all no, not. Okay, so you are aware of these names. Do you know these names from the Bible or from the Quran? From the Bible. From the Bible, and you, sir? Actually, uh, my coworker told me that uh, every uh, all 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 of the people that you mentioned is on the Bible, like that. Then I feel so amazed at that time. Oh, really? Like that. Okay, so, so you knew that they are in the Bible and recently you found out that they are also in the Quran. Great. Um, you see, when we were created, our Creator didn't put us in this life with nothing. He gave us a manual to follow. When you first buy a new car, this car comes with something in the glove compartment. A book, right? A manual. It tells you how to use it. If you use your car this way, it's going to work really fine for like another 10 years. But if you use it this way, then it's probably going to explode, right? Yeah, yeah. The same thing with our Creator in this life. He didn't leave us just like that with nothing. You see, He put us in this life with a book, a manual, so that we could follow it. If we follow this manual, then the result is this. But if we choose not to follow it, then we face consequences. Does this make sense? Yeah, yeah. Of course, really, it, it has to be, in fact, because you know what to follow. I'm just comparing that uh, you bought uh, electronic, then without manual, you cannot use that one properly. So that is very important. True. Even when you buy a phone, when you buy your new phone, you know, like a Samsung Galaxy Note Edge 2, which isn't available in the stores yet. But when that phone comes, what happens is when you open the uh, the uh, box, you find the manual inside. So if something happens, something goes wrong with the phone, you refer back to the manual so that you could work it really good. Yeah. So we believe in different books that were revealed from our Creator. One of these books is called the Gospels. Do you know this Gospels? Yeah, yeah. I know, I know the the Gospel, but I not. Uh, totally um, know all the details inside the gospel. Good. So the Gospels is the book that was revealed to Jesus, and that is the uh, Christian book. Yeah. Now, uh, our Creator, God, sent different books to different messengers and different prophets. Moses, he received a book. That book is called the Torah. Did you ever hear this name, the Torah? No, no. 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 The, this is also known as the Old Testament. Did you hear this? Yeah, yes, yes. The Old Testament. Yes. So, so you did. You are aware of the Old Testament, but you're not aware of the Torah. Okay. Its name has been changed recently, not too long ago, probably like a thousand years ago or less, to the Old Testament. So then there are there is the Old Testament that is the Torah. There is the New Testament that is the Gospels. We call it the Injil, and there is the Final Testament that is the Quran. Have you heard about the Quran? Quran. Yeah, I hear from uh, my coworker because I have coworkers, and he is a Muslim, and I have a lot of stuff. And those are a Muslim. Okay. Uh, sometimes I encounter customer on the floor and they telling me that, you know, I will give you book and that is Quran. Uh, just find time to read this because it's beautiful. Did, did they give you a Did they give you a Quran? Do we have a Quran? We are the guys. Do we have a Quran? Yeah, we do. We do, but not right here, right? Okay. So I know that if you were to get into this book, I mean, look into this book and read it, you would be able to, you would discover something that you have never seen in your life or something that you have never discovered before. So we believe in the scriptures that was revealed to the Christians and that is the gospel. We do believe in it. But that book was revealed before the Prophet Muhammad's time, 600 years before his time to Jesus. When it was revealed to Jesus, there were many Jews, many enemies who hated Jesus. So what they did was they took this book and they changed the meanings. Yeah. They changed the meanings, they twisted the interpretations, they put in the Trinity, they put in the crucifixion, they put in a bunch of lies for their own benefit, yeah, so that they could benefit. So then what happened was, when Jesus left this world, about a 600 years later, 500, 600 years later, our God sent another messenger. His name is Muhammad. Have you heard about Muhammad? 
No. Yeah, I heard. You heard? Recently, within these nine months you heard while you were living in Saudi Arabia. Muhammad came 600 years after Prophet Jesus with another book. This book completes the book of Jesus. That is called the Quran. The book that they told you about the other day at work, yeah? That book with the miracle, full, full of miracles, the miraculous book. So this book was revealed to mankind 1,400 years ago. That is when Islam was propagated on these lands and that is when it widely spread. Do you know what Islam means? Uh, as far as I know, Islam is uh, Muslim. Islam is a uh, close, uh, close country, one, uh, one God and one religion, then all together will be yes. united. Peace. Yeah. Yeah, peace. Peace. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, In one word. Islam itself. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Let me help you out. It's okay. Many people don't know. And that's why we are here to help you to give you this information so that you could share it with the world. Perhaps you may accept it. Yeah. Islam means submission. When I say I am Muslim, this means I submit to the commands of my Lord. This means my Lord gave me requirements. Do this and don't do this. If you do this, you will succeed, you will pass. But if you do this, you will fail. I immediately submit to it, yeah? So you are working in a company. Your company gave you a contract. This contract has some rules. Do this and don't do this. If you do this, then you will continue with us. But if you do this, then you will be terminated and return back to your country, yeah? So when you submit to these rules, that means you are a submitter. Submitter means Muslim. And that is where Islam stands in. We are submitting not to man-made rules, but to the rules of the Creator, the one who created us. Does this make sense? Yeah, yeah. Alhamdulillah. And you too? Really. Really? Okay, and this information is new to you, right? Yeah. Wonderful.